1996, rapper Tupac died after he was shot four times, but earlier this year, he performed live. Yeah. Around 90,000 fans at Coachella, yeah. seeing Tupac come back from the dead was a sort of religious experience. Millions more watched the performance online. What the f is that? Say, the guy comes back from the dead and his first question is, what's up? <laughs> It kind of blows me out that he's been dead for 16 years, he's still in much better shape than I am. <laughs> now, for the first time, the creators of the so-called hologram have talked about creating a lifelike Tupac. The last thing we wanted to do was offend his family, the people who knew him, and, and obviously the fans. You know, we, you know, the last thing we wanted to do was put something out there that was uh, a slap in the face to his legacy. They did skip her. Note, it's not a real 3D hologram, rather an old technique of reflecting an image from the floor onto a special screen. It just happens this is slicker, a CG2 part created from old footage and computer wizardry. Parody videos galore are now available on YouTube, toying with the idea of a tour. So tell your mama, your dear mama, to book me for birthday parties, special events, and karaoke night. The other question is, will this stop with Tupac? What about Michael Jackson, Elvis, or maybe Beethoven? Coachella is was a moment. No, they what can't. What happened kind of at Coachella? Kind of like it, it lives there, and it'll probably only live there. Um, maybe you'll see him again. Maybe you won't. So it might happen again. The thing is, Coachella was a giant festival full of living performers. Whether audiences will fork out for a hologram on its own is yet to be seen. David Farrier, 3 News. Yeah. It was